Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me 320 Simpilot and today something very exciting and quite different we're going to take a look at the Thrustmaster TCA Officer Pack Airbus Edition Joystick and Throttle Quadrant for your home simulator. Here it is in its box, a rather fantastic uh, view when you open the box you get that nice picture of the Airbus cockpit to start with, uh, nothing like reminding me of, uh, of work straight away which is uh, great fun. It's a really nicely presented box. They've, they've done all the right things with the branding. It advertises this heart sort of uh, sensor system it has. And as you can see, lots of nice claims and uh, pictures of the real Airbus flight deck to show you that it does indeed look like it. And, you know, it, it does. We'll talk about that as we go through. Shows you how it fits in with the ecosystem if you choose to buy the add-ons that give you flaps, speed brakes, things like that. Here we go. I'm not an unboxing channel, as you guys will soon discover. So uh, do please bear with me throughout this video as I struggle. But uh, yeah, it's really small box, actually. I was surprised, which led, led me to be slightly concerned about the size. Um, and here we go, taking it out. Nice to see these days less polystyrene and more sort of cardboardy egg carton type material for the packaging. Again, even here, as I unboxed it, I couldn't believe how small it was going to be <laughs> because the uh, the packaging just doesn't give it away. Um, but my concerns were, I would say at this point, unfounded. Uh, the size is for what it is, is uh, is actually quite fine. And you get the instruction pamphlets in the box with it. Taking it apart then, here we go. We just get the, the two in this pack. So you get the throttle quadrant and the side stick, as they call it. That's the Airbus term for the joystick, of course. All uh, well packaged, nice weight to the joystick. I, I was concerned it might feel a bit light, but no, it, it sits pretty well on the desk. Um, so I've been enjoying that and we'll talk a bit more about the side stick uh, a bit later in the video. You also get a little accessories packet. These are the two buttons that you can swap over because of course it's ambidextrous for once, which is quite rare. So you can set it up to be right or left handed, which is a really nice addition. And I was really impressed with this, these little buttons you can swap over. It comes by default set up for the uh, captain side, so a left hand joystick with the red button on the right hand side of the joystick side stick I should say. Here's the cable, surprisingly a USB-C cable, and the stickers which you can put on your engine master switches to label them. Goes up to four in case you choose to get another set of uh, thrust levers for your A340 or A380, which hopefully we will see one day in a simulator, for now very rare. And this is the mounting system for attaching the side parts to the uh, setup. Throttle quadrant now out of the box. Feels surprisingly light uh, and small, especially when compared to the side stick, which is a bit heavier uh, and a bit bigger overall footprint. It does claim on the website one-to-one -one scale replica. Um, so I'm not here to say that is or isn't true, but uh, I think it, it feels smaller to me, certainly uh, in general, um, especially those master switches and the travel on the thrust levers. But they do look very good, very convincing, and they do have the general same feel uh, but again, we'll talk a bit more about these uh, a bit later on into the video. So there's me just giving it its first test. I've never used it before, never seen it before. To be very clear, I purchased this. This is not a review unit or anything like that. This was not sponsored. This is, uh, I actually purchased this and I only managed to find it in stock by luck thanks to my community on Discord who alerted me. So thank you all for the messages, uh, which uh, was, was how we managed to get hold of one. And I know a few people in the community did as well at around the same time. So I wanted to give it a go. It's a very common question I get uh, all the time. I'm asked, what do I think of this? So it's great to be able to actually finally see one and get some thoughts on it. Unwrapping the side stick now. Again, very pleased with the weight of it. It was a bit more substantial than I had expected it to feel. Nice long USB cable provided, although it doesn't seem to be as detachable like it is on the throttle quadrant. So it, it is just an attached USB A cable. My first impression of grabbing the side stick was that it actually was surprisingly well uh, size matched I would say it really was pretty convincing um, it's slightly different material but yeah it's really quite nice it does have uh, the general feel a very loose resemblance to the, to the real thing which I was really surprised about because if, looking at the pictures I wasn't sure it would on the bottom there you can choose between co-pilot and captain again for the uh, this controls on the side stick which seems to integrate into the software to some extent and we have a sliding throttle this does have a reverse action although it's just a button there's no actual detent in the sliding throttle which I was a bit disappointed with but there we go after the necessary inspection from the house cat it is time to move on and take a slightly closer look at both of these uh, items starting with the side stick as I said earlier I'm surprisingly uh, or pleasantly surprised I should say with the look and feel of it 
in particular the feel was slightly more convincing than I had expected, although obviously it's not perfect, but it is a, a reasonable attempt at a representation. On the top here, I've got it set up now as the first officer's side stick. So uh, that's where your thumb would normally rest, but there's a hat switch there. And then there's a red autopilot disconnect button, which is nice and clicky and tactile. This extra little black button on the right is not on the real aircraft, but it's nice to have the option. The trigger is correct, although on the real aircraft, there's only one trigger. There's not that second button above it. Here are the buttons on the side. These are all very simple to assign to flaps and things like that. Um, all very nice. Slightly wobbly sometimes, but they seem to not have missed any clicks so far, so can't complain. Here is the throttle axes, but I've now got this assigned to the spoilers uh, as I have the throttle quadrant for the actual throttles. Moving on to the right hand side now, and this is the uh, twist lockout. So if you have your own rudder pedals, you can press that down to lock it so it doesn't twist. Uh, very stable, very uh, simple mechanism that works quite well. But I actually don't use it because I now have this twist mechanism assigned to the nose wheel steering tiller. I haven't found it to be too inconvenient. I don't accidentally find myself uh, twisting the side stick. So that's quite, quite handy to have another axis available. This is how I would expect to hold the side stick with my right hand, where my thumb would fit uh, slightly on the left and then your index finger on the trigger, which is used to transmit on the radio when you need it in the real aircraft. But of course, they've moved that thumb rest to the middle and put the hat switch on it. Not a great concern, especially useful as they made it ambidextrous, but that's just where your thumb rest would normally be. Um, so yeah, it's got the space for your thumb. It's just not quite the, the right design. Here is my old joystick that I was using, the HOTAS for PS4 and as you can see it has less travel than the new side stick so I was pleased to see how much more travel it has this is much more representative of the travel on the real side stick which does move quite a lot both of these side sticks do not have the correct amount of resistance they are too easy to move there's not enough weight or resistance to them the real aircraft has much more dampening so that is something that uh, is missing the closest I've seen so far would be the HOTAS Warthog let me be clear, I'm not expecting this to be a perfect representation of the aeroplane. I'm just giving you my thoughts and initial sort of comparisons. So let's move on to this throttle quadrant now, which I was incredibly excited about when I saw it. I would have loved to have had this when I was growing up. So uh, yeah, it's a really nice idea. It looks very convincing. It's slightly smaller, I think, and certainly the master switches and things like that are, but it has uh, a nice color to it again, as well as uh, all the right sort of shapes represented, which is really nice to see. Uh, yeah, very unusual. The mode crank switch, of course, is much, much smaller than the real one, but moves in the correct way and also looks right and feels the right shape just in miniature. So that's that's quite a nice addition. Very pleased with that. The master switches uh, are very fragile, I would feel. So I'm a bit worried about snapping them off. They are the right shape, which is really nice. Again, they have the right feel just in miniature, although the real aircraft, they are some sort of metal. Um, the only thing is in the real aircraft to move them to on or off, you have to lift them up over a gate to prevent them uh, accidentally being activated, which is missing in this. These two buttons here are actually lights in the real aircraft. You can't press them, but it's nice to have extra buttons for our own use in the simulator. On the side here, we have our auto thrust instinctive disconnect buttons, which are functional, which is great. And yeah, they're, they're where they would be and they're the right color. Um, they don't travel in quite as much as they do on the real aircraft, but a very minor complaint, really nice. And to have those functioning in the right place is a, another great addition. Here we have the throttle set to the idle detent. And as you push them through, you can feel the detents, which is a huge part of flying the Airbus. So having these detents was something I really wanted to get working. And it, rather brilliantly, they do actually work after a bit of a setup. Um, but I will, again, talk about that more in my full review. There's a slight click uh, and you can feel them sort of settling into their detent. But to have that feature available is really, really great, really impressive. I'm particularly pleased with how the uh, detents work in reverse and through to uh, toga. There is no play when you're at toga and there's no issue at idle. The You can feel exactly where you are. So you get a satisfying clunk as you move through. The rear thrust levers in the real aircraft are slightly heavier again and the detents are slightly harder to push the thrust levers through. But it's very functional in, in this format, very usable. Here's the reverses. Really nice little uh, reverse levers, again, slightly smaller than the real aircraft, but they work. They lift the thrust levers properly into the reverse detent, and you can move the thrust levers from idle reverse to match reverse. Uh, very impressed, really impressed with this, this thrust lever action for the reverses. It is 
something that in the real aircraft it's very easy to have reverse idle whereas it's slightly more difficult in this setup because as you can see as you get very close to reverse idle the, the thrust levers have a tendency to want to drop into the forward idle detent which is not something I've seen on the real aeroplane. To make it feel a bit more convincing I increased the friction using this screw as per the instructions which definitely helped I had to increase it quite a lot. I found out of the box that the thrust levers were actually sliding on their own even just under gravity. So I definitely had to increase the friction, but that's something I do with most of my uh, controllers. I, I'm always increasing the friction. So here we go. You can also lock out that reverser like this and have a full range of motion, which gives you a, a larger range to have the manual thrust available. Otherwise, you only get that first couple of centimeters for your manual thrust in the Airbus, which is not as much, I don't think, as the, the real aircraft. For build quality, it's fine. It's quite light. My only issue has been that these two thrust levers don't quite align perfectly which is slightly noticeable as you can see uh, when they are at idle detent or even at the maximum reverse uh, at the, the stop of travel really also included in the box you get these stickers again as i said earlier counting up to engine one two three and four you like, get two sets luckily in case you mess up your application of one these are the uh, captain's autopilot disconnect and uh, other button as you can see as i said earlier set up for the right hand side at the moment these were easy to replace, really impressed, really great idea, and it's nice having a joystick that's ambidextrous. Uh, yeah, it comes with this little screwdriver included to, to sort that out. Now uh, I'm going to show you just that I had, did get it working with a bit of uh, extra effort. I'm using the fly-by-wire mod. If you're using the normal fly-by-wire mod, so that is the stable or the development version, then it should work straight away. I had to do a little bit of extra work to get it properly working with the experimental uh, fly-by-wire the new system that they're working on uh, but still it is possible so that is great uh, great news so overall what do I think on these first impressions yeah I've been very pleasantly surprised particularly by the side stick funnily enough I like the throttle quadrant I really like having those detents available to me and the reverse of detent I think that action has been done well I'd like to see the axes slightly better quality so that they, at idle they sat in line but aside from that minor complaint very nice nice to have a uh, proper mode select and master switches as well to, to physically have with you side stick is very nice I like the range of travel I wish it was a little bit heavier to move with a bit of dampening but I appreciate that not everything's possible in a home joystick uh, so yeah now time to get airborne as I start uh, streaming and running some proper tests of this equipment so here we go nice to get those full clicks clicks forward and backwards are what we talk about in the Airbus often we'll move two clicks forward one click back etc Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more Flight Simulator and X-Plane Airbus content. More live streams and videos coming soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.